Next, I'm going to go through and show you how the diagnosis codes work. Uh, a lot of offices want to have all these diagnosis codes to be automatically pulled from the admin diagnosis or all the ones inside your system. Uh, to do that, all we have to do, let's go back to that testing page. Let's go to add a new field. This one I'm going to call, uh, this will be code 1. And the type is we're going to say a diagnosis code. So it lets you select which diagnosis code and number. So all I have to do is just minimize this down, right click and say add field to tab. Here is the code. And then I'm going to add a new field on here that will say the uh, description one. And we'll call it diagnosis code. And this will be the description for number one. Uh, every diagnosis code essentially has the code like myopia uh, 367.1. So the code is uh, the 367.1 and the description, uh, I wrote descriptio, that's okay, uh, is the myopia. And you can see this on the assessment plan for the demo. We have the fields, basically code, description, code, description, code, description. Then when we're done, we basically hit the stop editing save changes. If you want to share these, I'll say no. Pick a random patient. Go to the testing. Now we have all those different codes and all the different descriptions. What's also nice is it has autocomplete, so if we start typing it, uh, I should have made this feel a little bit bigger. Uh, you can actually see where it is. We typed M Y hydrasis is on there. Uh, or if we want to delete these, and we have our drop-down list, if we press the letter on our keyboard, like, OK, show me all the uh, glaucoma. So glaucoma is at the bottom, and we can use the arrow. You can see kind of how they're laid out and how you have to be able to select those. So that's adding the diagnosis codes. Um, next, let's go back to the edit records. Okay. We're going to add a picture box. Uh, any sort of other pictures you want to add, for instance, uh, we have two photos on here. Uh, this so it's called title. Both internal, external. Uh, any of these buttons we can add directly to the records. Uh, cornea, webcam, upload, dot matrix, you name it. So to do that, let's just go to our testing tab. Let's say let's add a new field. And we're going to say it's going to be a picture box. Then it says, what type of box? You want to do a crystal PM image or an iScape? And then which one of the crystal PM images? For this one, let's do uh, both an internal and an external. So let's just say we'll call this one both. Minimize it. All I'm going to do is right click, say add that field. Then let's add another one that we're going to call internal. Picture box and internal, add that one. And then lastly, we're going to say add new field, external. And we can add those in. Now I'm just going to highlight all these fields. Let's say let's make them all the same height and make them, I'm holding the plus button. So to put them in. Now that I'm done, I just hit Stop Editing Save Changes. And then I go back to the records. We go over testing. Here's our three boxes. Also, if we ever draw on these, for instance, um, depending on the type of box we want to do, we can also modify it here. Let's say for this one, we're just going to say it's uh, the external, it's bloodshot, uh, and they have blue eyes. And this one is a little bit and save. It's going to go ahead and save that picture in. Or if we want to draw on the eye, let's say we're going to document, there's a cut here, you know, slash over here. There's also a way to change the colors. A lot of offices ask if you can modify the colors. Very easily done. Say blue. I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle here and hit save. So it'll automatically put those pictures directly into the medical records. Next, we'll go back to the edit medical records page. And we'll print password. Okay, back on this window. Let's go over to testing. <clears throat> We're going to add another field again. Now we've gone over the text, the line, uh, picture box, buttons, diagnosis codes. Uh, this one will go ahead and put some check boxes. A lot of offices have it very simple for check boxes to be put on. 
pretty much what it ex describes, basically the check boxes you can put, so instead of having to put it in. Uh, the limitation with this is it doesn't have the autocomplete. It doesn't say, like, shift F8, the default system automatically put it in. Another thing is those shift F8 buttons. There's this spot up here. This allows auto history, shows previous values. That's typically done on the history page. Uh, or show shortcuts. That will put the shift F8 pictures letter R slip. Uh, some offices prefer not to have the staff be able to do an auto fill in. So basically have those optional if you want to have those displayed or not. Also, the test at the top, there's a shortcut, which it'll be on your viewing previous records uh, at the bottom. You can kind of see you have that put in. This is a quick little run through of some of the advanced features of the edited medical records. Uh, we will be, in the next one, we will be kind of going over some of the more advanced stuff with the numerical value and procedure codes. So those kind of coincide directly with uh, being able to have those uh, stimulus package automatically information be done. Uh, but on here, uh, again, a quick little run through on the buttons. There's the different commands. You can see it's linked to another field. What field and what do you have to have linked? Linked to an Rx. Set to F8. F8 is the default value. Or set to a specific value. If you want to have things auto-fill in, previous value, set current time, date, set to a patient's value. Some things you want to pull over from the patient's page uh, or the medical records uh, into the re records. For instance, if you want to have the insurance information or the referral, any of that can automatically be pulled over from uh, by selecting it here. So I want to have a certain field automatically be filled on the patient's first name. Previous value, or again, we can do command or preloaded application. If you have any questions, feel free to always give us a call at Crystal Practice Management, and hopefully this was uh, very helpful to be able to understand how to customize some of the advanced features of the medical records. Uh, and our tech support number is right here. Thank you, and I uh, appreciate you guys listening.